YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and even TikTok. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. I still got my earpiece in my ear. I'm sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> it is Byron Williams. Yes, it is Mr. Byron Williams, also known as Byron Music Man Williams. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Here with EBW Multimedia. Yes, indeed. Looking so lovely. Who else are we here with? Yeah, I know who it is, man. Now every 36 fashion. Yeah, man. Yes, indeed. I told y'all, man. I told y'all I was going to keep it consistent this year, didn't I? I told y'all. Consistency is the key. <sighs> Whatever, man. I got to find somebody else to do this for me. <laughs> anyway, coming to you all with another product. A product that I love. A product that I stand by. 1,000 per cent. Yes, sir. This is another light. Now, I told y'all, you can never go wrong with a whole bunch of lighting. You just can't. You cannot miss with a lot of lighting. It's always a good thing to have. Plenty of light. What is that light you ask? <laughs> I'm glad you ask. Is that B7C Aperture Light Bulb? Yes. Again, it is the B7C Aperture Light Bulb. I believe they are going for about 70 or 80 bucks on uh, Amazon right now. Um, however, let me break this down for you what this is and how this actually works, peoples. So as you can see, it looks like a regular, uh, it favors a regular standard light bulb. It does have the actual standard uh, light bulb fixture, uh, little socky dilly dilly dally do. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it'll fit in the, uh, a regular lamp, you know, around the house, uh, any regular socket. Um, however, this is actually a film light. So this light goes from 2,000 Kelvin all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin. And again, remember, in lighting, in the film world, all the light is measured by Kelvins. And again, so this goes from 2,000 Kelvin, Kelvin all the way up to uh, 10,000 Kelvin. As you can see, it doesn't have like the regular dome of a light bulb, again, because this is an actual diffuser. This is, again, an actual diffuser for the actual light bulb itself. Uh, the build quality of this is absolutely excellent. Um, I love it. It's pretty sturdy, and I, yeah, it'll last for a while. As long as you take care of it, obviously, but that's what anything. But it'll, it, you know, take care of it, and it shall take care of you. <laughs> um, but anyway, with that being said, um, this has two different modes to this light. It has the AC mode, and it has the DC mode. Obviously, the AC mode is you take this, Screw this right into your lamp, plug your lamp in, turn your lamp on. It works like a regular light bulb, just that simple. And it also charges when it's in AC mode and it's in the lamp and the lamp is turned off. It will actually charge this bulb for you. The DC mode is obviously your wireless mode. And the wireless mode, you look and you say, okay, what's well, a light bulb? How, can, how would that work wirelessly? So let's see. Push this button right here, power button. Bow, as you can see. Ah, uh, it's not charged up all the way, y'all. Uh. <laughs> Let's see if it come back on for me. It came back on for me, cool. See, I see. I had to let it charge, y'all. Uh. I don't know what to tell you, but anyways, as you can see, this light will come on um, without being plugged into any type of a. Uh, type of a socket so if you're filming say at a, a hotel or if you're filming at um even um you know wherever you may be filming at you know a gym hotel wherever it is you can plug this directly into a socket and let it and let it roll and let it work or what i do and have done on multiple occasions um Particularly the interview with uh, Rico Baird. Yeah, Rico Baird. What I did is I took a standard, uh, like an umbrella light stand. Take this guy, screw this right into there. 
Pow. Bow. Bing. You have another, another light that you don't even have to plug into the wall, but it still is equally as bright and it can, it'll match every other light that's in the room. And um, again, I love these bulbs uh, for so many reasons, but that's one of the main reasons that I love this bulb. That's a, a, a major reason why I love this bulb, because again, like I said, two of these bulbs for, for me, again, two for me works perfectly because like I said in the um, if I'm trying to create ambience uh, ambience or something of that nature or whatever in a scene um, when I'm shooting short films things like that when someone goes to turn on a lamp then this is the bulb that you usually see uh, even in the movies so any movies that you see even with the um, you know the fluorescent lights or whatnot those are actually tube lightings and um, Again, they are RGB tube lights, so they just match and warm up the whole scene, and it matches all the other lights on the set. Um, again, this particular bulb, like I said, it has two different modes on it. It has an AC mode and a DC mode. Again, the AC mode, plug it into a standard socket on a lamp, anything of that nature, desk light, and you're good to go. You can turn it on and off just like, just like that. Um, the DC mode, again, wireless mode, you can be out in the middle of a field, um, you say you you know, filming a scene in a car or something like that. Uh, this is good for something like that as well. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be plugged into anything. You can just take this and literally turn it on. <laughs> so I'm filming again. I'm so sorry to you guys that uh, it is not charged all the way. Um, as you see, it keeps going right back out on me. Um, but again, it is a great piece of equipment to add to your your repertoire. Um, again, when I got it, it was around 70, 80 bucks. Um, so having two of these. Are, are ideal. You at least want to have at least two, uh, to me personally. Um, and, but again, it's all, you know, according to who you are and what you do as a filmmaker or, you know, as a cinema, uh, cinematographer. Again, for me, two of these work perfectly uh, for different scenarios and situations that I, I walk into and that I actually choreograph to be able to make it work. Um, again, this is the B. 7C light and it is made by Aperture, um, the exact same company as my light here on the right, which as I told you is my favorite light. Um, it's an again, it's an Aperture light, and one of the cool, another cool part about this particular piece is that the app that I use to control this particular light, the Citus lap, uh, Citus app. Tongue tied today, y'all. <laughs> but the Citus app, it actually allows me to add this particular light to a to a fixture on the actual app, and I can control both of these lights all at the same time, or I can have them separated and um, still just have full control of them and never having to get up out of my seat. Um, again. The B7C Aperture Light, and it is a film light, and like I said, you can connect it to a the Citus app to be able to control it uh, remotely from your phone. Um, and again, I use this particular light for the Rico Baird uh, interview. And yes, I absolutely think that every filmmaker, every cinematographer, every, you know, videographer, and even the photographers, I, I just, it is a good piece to have in the arsenal. Um, and again, that's obviously my personal opinion. Um, I love it. I appreciate it. It has come in handy on multiple different occasions. And again, the fact that I'm able to actually put it in a regular lamp in my home and just let it sit there and charge for an entire day and then, you know, go and set it in DC mode and go film out in the park and go film in the woods, go film fishing or, or whatever the case may be, film outdoors and uh, not be restricted as far as lighting was concerned. And um, 
Yeah. Again, this product. B, 7, C, Aperture Light. 70, 80 bucks on Amazon, you guys. Um, as always, man, I appreciate the support. Uh, both new and old. Uh, click like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave me comments. Let me know. Like I said, as always, man, I appreciate you all 100%. You have no clue. Um, this has been a long time in the making. And, and I can't even, I honestly have to say, it's not even been a long time in the making. I never saw myself doing YouTube videos. I just never saw myself doing YouTube videos. However, I appreciate I absolutely appreciate and I am grateful to be able to actually create these YouTube videos and to be able to share the different gear and things of that nature that I have. Um, you know, maybe someone else has the same thing and they've found other ways to be able to use it or maybe someone is just interested in getting started with this. Um, one of my biggest things that I will say and I've always said, always do your research first. Make sure it's something that you absolutely need because over this time I've purchased things that I don't need or something that I just haven't used, you know, and, um, now I've gotten to a larger scale where I'm having to use everything that I have. But again, just start off small, start off piece by piece. Um, even if you have that big budget to be able to buy up everything or whatever, research and study everything before you jump right into it. Um, again, me personally, I jumped directly from the DSLR camera, which is pretty much just a, a photography camera. Um, that's what they were built for, specifically built for photography. However, they've, you know, upgraded over the years for sure. Um, but my T6i camera, if you go back and look through the videos, you can tell a major difference between those videos versus the cinema rig that I have, which is the, the Blackmagic Pocket 4 cinema camera. Um, Again, learning about the filters and the different, you know, lighting and the lighting techniques and things of that nature. All these different things that, you know, pull everything all together to make a actual scene look more cinematic. Um, and again, I will, I've said it a million times and I will say it forever and forever. Lighting, you can never have too much lighting. Lighting is highly, highly important. Your lighting has to match your sound as well as the quality of your uh, your actual image, whether it be, um, well, in this case, uh, cinematography work and videography work, uh, but it goes for photography as well. Lighting changes the, it, it just changes the whole atmosphere and uh, the whole uh, tone of your image. So again, as I sign out, short, to the point, sweet video, the B73. Again, the B73 film light bulb created by Aperture. It is a must have to me. I think that's the way I feel about it. Anyway, Mr. Byron Music Man Williams signing off Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Peace.